Cleveland, it came down to four three-point daggers in the closing minutes, a few key defensive stops and a lethal scoring performance by C.J. McCollum. But was there really any doubt the Portland Trailblazers would topple the Cleveland Cavaliers Monday night at Quicken Loans Arena? Because for all their road issues, for all their playoff failures, for all their hit-and-miss free agent forays in recent seasons, the Blazers have shown one remarkable consistency since the great roster rebuild of 2015, they are astonishingly good after the All-Star break. The Blazers' 123-110 victory over Cleveland moved them to 3-0 since the break this season, an early sign they are poised for another late-season hot streak. Since February 2016, only the Golden State Warriors, 60, and Toronto Raptors, 58, have more victories after the All-Star break than the Blazers, 55, who have won 69% of their games during the stretch. Strong finishes have become a fabric of the Blazers' DNA, as ubiquitous to Portland as delicious IPAs and temperamental baristas. Has nothing to do with our DNA, Evan Turner said. It has to do with our testicular fortitude, it was right about this time last season when the Blazers, ahem, fortitude sparked a 13-game winning streak, helping to push them into third place in the Western Conference. They went 17-7 after the All-Star break. It was right about this time during the 2016-17 season when the Blazers caught fire to save a lost season, finishing 18-8 to sneak into the 8th seed in the West. It was right about this time in 2015-16 when the Blazers shunned a rebuilding season and stunned the NBA by closing 17-11 and moving into fifth place in the West, eventually upsetting the Los Angeles Clippers in the first round of the Western Conference playoffs. Those memorable finishes, combined with their 3-0 record, over the last week, make them 55-26 after the All-Star break the last four seasons. The Blazers say their propensity for strong finishes is partly born out of necessity. Whether fighting for their playoff lives or angling for home court advantage, the Blazers have needed every one of their victories over the years in the ridiculously challenging West, where just one loss could mean the difference between a playoff seed or a playoff spot. We're in the West and we're desperate, Turner said. Quote, you have to be good after the All-Star break if you want to make the playoffs. You start feeling it because the games start picking up, it gets more physical, it gets more heated. It feels like the playoffs are like sudden death. We comprehend how serious it is, added Moharkless, we're preparing for the playoffs, so we have to have a different mentality every night. It's about taking care of business and that's really our mindset, this is especially true of all-star Damian Lillard, whose demeanor sets the tone in the Blazers locker room. And as good as he's been the last four seasons, he's played in three All-Star games and earned All-NBA first and second team honors. He's been especially dominant after the All-Star break, when his killer-be-killed attitude intensifies. Over the last three seasons, he's averaged 28.1 points, 6.0 assists and 4.2 rebounds after the All-Star break, igniting the Blazers' late-season hot streak. I think you've got to give Damian a lot of credit, Blazers coach Terry Stotts said. He's really carried us the last three years after the All-Star break. I know the year we got Yusuf Nurkic, everybody was caught up in Nurk fever. But Damian really carried us, of course, the Blazers find themselves in a different position this time around. For the most part, this season has been uncharacteristically drama-free. As they ready for another stretch run, the Blazers, 37-23, are a season-high 14 games over .500 and sit in third place in the Western Conference, 1.5 games behind the Oklahoma City Thunder, 38-21, and two games ahead of the Houston Rockets, 35-25. They don't need a 13-game winning streak to secure home court advantage. They don't need to catch a fever to sneak into the playoffs. They just need to maintain status quo. And the good news is that the status quo has been remarkably good the last three years, we've been here before, Lillard said. So we know what to expect, I think for us, now, it's mental that this time of year we tighten up and we lock in. 
So we've started that way again this year. Joe Freeman, J Freeman at Oregonian.com, 503-294-5183, at Blazer Freeman. Visit subscription.oregonlive.com slash newsletters to get Oregonian, Oregon Live journalism delivered to your email inbox.